again, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming from Beckley's Camping Center today to show you the all new. This is the A-Liner Expedition, but it is the front kitchen model. So do stay tuned for that. And by the way, to help me keep this channel going, if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, be sure that you ask for the Air Force guy so I can go ahead and pass along my expertise for these, this camper, or any others. So let's get onto this camper. Now, you're able to get this model without dormers. You can get hard dormers, or you can get soft dormers. Benefits to each. But as you can see up in the front, you're gonna have two 20-pound LP bottles, and the battery will be right in front of that. So your dry weight's gonna be just right around 2,200 pounds by the time your propane, uh, propane bottle's full, as well as the battery in the front. Overall length is gonna be 18 feet. Now I'll have all the specifications, pricing, and my contact information down below as well. Now, for those of you that may not have seen how easy it is to put these things up and down, I will provide a video down below that actually shows how easy it is to put these up and down. So, but on the off-door side here, as you can see, you're gonna have your outside shower. That's gonna be right here. So that's gonna be actually hot and cold water. You do have a solar plug here, so you can actually extend your boondocking experience by connecting a portable solar panel to it. Now just understand by connecting a solar panel to it, all you're doing is recharging the battery. You're only gonna be working the 12 volt items on your camper. It is not gonna be working the 110 items. So please do understand that. Now in all four corners, you're gonna have stabilizers. Make it nice, nice and easy for you to get to. Now I know they're not electric, but you can make them electric by just getting in the adapter and putting that in your screw gun. It makes it very easy for you to put them up and down. Now located right here is your sink drain. This is for your gray water to be coming out of your kitchen sink. Now you can get an adapter that would go on that and you could put it to a, a regular water hose and then run that to a drain system if need be. Now these two access panels right there, that is for the back of your refrigerator and that's to allow the ventilation needed for it to run efficiently. So you wanna make sure you uh, keep those clear. They do make screens so you can keep the actual bugs out of there as well. Now, something to keep in mind, if you're gonna be ordering one of these, I would highly recommend that you get yourself the high wind kit. They have two different ones. You have a high wind kit bar or you have the cable. My recommendation is to get the bar versus the cable because the bar can be, be used to help when you're lifting this. It's a, it's a benefit to you. Now let me show you what you do. Basically what you're gonna do is, this is where it stores when you're putting it away, but you just take it out of here. Like I say, this is how you can use leverage. And then it would just store in that position with your pin. What that allows you to do is it keeps the roofs from moving. In the event wind's coming across, it's not gonna pull that front section forward. It'll keep them together. You have one on both sides. So highly recommend that you would have that as an option if you're getting one of these. If, you if for some reason you have one currently and that was not installed, that is something that could be installed, installed after the fact. Now, something else you're gonna notice on these is the lift assist. And you're gonna notice that, I know that at one point a couple years ago, they had it where it was an electric lift. They've gotten away from that because of the issues. And what they did was to make it easier to put these roofs up, again, the high wind kit bar, that makes it helpful, but they repositioned where these struts are put, and that does actually help lifting the roof on these. This way, you can also see that they're on the dormers as well. Now, continuing down the off-door side, you have the furnace exhaust. That's gonna be right there. Make sure that when you're not using it, you keep it covered to keep the critters from going in there. They love propane and you'll get wasp nests and mud daubers and so forth and even stink bugs in there. Same thing with your water heater. They just love making nests in there. Now you have your electrical hookup. 
I call it the 110. It's, it's 30 amp 110. I know people say, Paul, that's not 110. It's it's 120. And you, as you can see, you, it is clearly states this connection is for 110 to 125 volt, 60 hertz, 30 amp. Now, right above that, this is your connection for cable in the event that you're going to be connecting cable if you're going to put a TV inside here. So your fresh water tank, it's going to be above floor. It's going to be underneath the bed. I'll show you that in a little bit. But that is right there. And this would be your city water connection if you were not bringing water with you. Now, since you're filling your fresh water tank right there, that means that the fresh water drain is going to be very close. And as you can see, it is this blue tube with the black cap on it. So very easy for you to get to. It's just inside the rear bumper here. Now on the back side, you can see the nice rock guard finish there. It's a little bit more durable. Your spare tires attached to the bumper. And then you also have the two stabilizers you're going to have back here. One of them we have down, and as you can see, there's your other one there. Now looking down the door side, as you can see, this one has the standard window style AC. You do have the ability to get the Cool Cat heat pump, which would actually go right in this pos position right here. It would be right here, so it would be down underneath your bed. It would cut down some of the storage. Let me show you what that would look like if you chose that particular option. So that is what it would look like if you had your Cool Cat heat pump installed versus having the other window style. Now, a benefit of the Cool Cat heat pump is the fact that it's an AC. It's 10,500 BTUs versus this is going to be five or 6,000 BTUs. Uh, but it's also a heat pump. So it's a dual purpose and it's not sticking out from the side. Just depends on what you're looking for. And again, it comes down to price too. Staying the door side, as you can see, you have two outlets right here, electrical outlets. That way there, if you have any 110 appliances that you want to use over here, lights, whatever, you're able to do that. Speaking of lights, as you can see, you have an outdoor light there. Notice that it's like an orange. It's not going to be collect, um, attracting the bugs. So you see the door opens to the, to the front here, and it does have a little plastic holder to hold that open in the event you wanted it to stay open so it's not swinging in the wind. Now, they're also using the composite panels using the Asdale. Now, that is being used everything above this from here. The benefit to you there is that makes it lighter weight. And it adds insulation for you. So it's lighter weight. The Asdale does not absorb water, so you're not going to, you're not going to have, you have less chance of having an issue with delamination. And it's also an insulation, additional insulation properties for it, for you as well. Now, I do like the fact that all A-liners, they go ahead and put this sticker on it, showing you the actual dry weight and the tongue weight. What you've got to remember, you've got to add for your propane and battery to those weights. So just don't, for, don't uh, forget about that. That's why I was saying it's more about uh, 2,200 pounds. By the time you add 40 pounds of propane and another 40 pounds so there, thereabouts for your battery. So as you see, you have two steps to come in, making it easy for you to come in. You're also going to have a nice little night light right there. So you're going to be able to see where you're stepping at night. You don't, you don't have to leave the overhead lights on. You see you have your fire extinguisher right as you come in the door. Well, let me take you in here and let me just do a quick pan. So as I said, it was a front kitchen. So you can see the dinette's gonna be in a different spot. And then of course, you're gonna have your sofa slash bed to the rear. Now looking at your kitchen, you can see you have a microwave. You've got your two burner cooktop here. Nice little Dometic with its own sparker. And then, of course, you do have your nice deep sink. So the nice thing with this is that they do fold down when you're not using them to give you that additional counter space for both of them. 
Now I do like the way they put this cooktop up here to make sure that it's not falling down when you're walking around or anything. It has a little lock, so you gotta lift up as you're closing it. That way there, it's locked in the up position. So as you can see with the front kitchen, you've got some nice counter space as well as some nice storage space. And lastly in the kitchen, you do have your three-way refrigerator here. So you could run this on propane, 110, or on battery. And even with this refrigerator, you also have the freezer. So that way there you can bring your ice cream or keep a bag of ice in there. So that is right there up in the front. Now these dormers are very easy to set up and break down because all you're doing is unlocking on either side as you can see. The walls fall into the side and the roof you're just gonna then you're gonna just pull this part in which then that'll lower the roof for you. So you do that before you're actually unlocking your side locks here to bring these interior walls down. So you've got four of those. You've got two on the one side and then two on the opposite side. Now when you're looking at ventilation here, you have the two side windows here that are gonna open. And then with the hard dormers, you're gonna actually have a window on this end and then a window up in the kitchen area. Now the difference you have if you had the soft dormers, now you have a nice big window there, and then you can open up the plastic, that would be, that whole window there would be a screen, and then you have screens on either side of your soft dormer, that would be on the front side, so that'd be by your kitchen. And then the rear by the bed, same thing, you're gonna have the, the window up above, as well as ventilation on either side. So determine which best works for you. Now I just want to give you an idea of the storage space that you have. This would be under the bed. Now you have access to it through this door as you can see. Of course you can see see it better when you have all the stuff off. But So this is one way that you can access it. I want to show you where your fresh water tank is. So there's your fresh water tank as well as your water heater. Notice also it has a bypass on the water heater itself. Now back in the corner here by your fresh water tank, that is your water pump. That's what's going to be giving you water pressure when you're using your fresh water tank when you're not connected to a water source. Now I've given you an idea of the first boards. You can see how there's two different boards for you to take off once you take the sliding piece for your bed off of the back. Next is you can see your sliding piece that I have there and I just set it up on there so you can actually see. This is where you're going to lock it if you wanted it in, in the sofa position. That is what it would look like without the cushions. And then once you put the cushions back in there, that is what it would look like for your sofa. And it's rather of a, a deep sofa, so your, your legs, you're going to sit far back. That's probably more beneficial for lounging across it. Of course, keep in mind you're going to have some pillows and blankets and so forth on it as well. Now under the bed area here, this is where you're going to have your breakers and fuses. That is right in this area here. Nice and easily accessible. 12 volt connector. That'd be for your cable in the event you were hooked into cable. Or if you hooked a uh, HDMI antenna to that cable outlet out there, you can get local TV. Next right here, that's going to be for your furnace. 12 volt fan using propane for the heat. And then down below here, that is going to be for your carbon monoxide detection as well as your LP alarm system. It's all right there. Now under the bed on the other side you have your GFI 110 outlet. Now that's probably going to be protecting your outside electrical outlet as well. 
Now, in addition to that GFI, you're also gonna have one other GFI, and that's gonna be up here in your kitchen area. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Paul, where the heck are the lights in this place? Well, you're gonna have one in the bed area, right here, and then up in the kitchen area, you're gonna have it right here, which is gonna be right where you need it so you're able to see what you're doing here in the kitchen. Now do heed the warning as you can see make sure that your lights are shut off and cooled before you're lowering the ceiling. Now in this cabinet here this is where you're uh, if you have the window AC this is where it'll be blowing out and then you have little storage cubbies right there as well. So plenty of storage inside of this camper. And lastly, speaking of storage, you have additional storage under the one end of your dinette. Look at how nice and cozy that dinette would be for you. And by the way, that dinette does break down to a bed as well. Now to make this a bed, all you're doing is you're taking the table off the leg itself. You'll lay the leg on the floor and that table is gonna sit right on the lips here on the other side. And then you just take the cushions from the, from the sides, put them right in the middle, and you've got yourself a nice little bed. Now that bed would be 65 inches in length by 25 inches wide. Whereas this bed in the back is 60 inches wide by 82 inches in length, making it the size of a queen bed. An actual residential queen is 60 by 80. So I know a lot of people will take these cushions out and just throw a regular queen mattress in here and be done with it. They don't mess with, you know, picking it up and so forth. But whatever works for you. By the way, the, the sofa option is, I'm sorry, the sofa is an option. And then the other one is actually having it as a uh, queen bed mattress. Now for your windows, they do have these curtains that do come undone and you're able to have privacy for all of the windows. You can see they have the snaps down below where you're able to snap them to give you the privacy you need for all the windows. And then for the ones in the out in the front and the back, you're going to actually have them on a rail so you're able to pull them across for privacy. Now, let's say that you're camping and you're just you want to have air coming through. You have this max air fan right here in the roof, and you're able to dump air coming, having the air dump in here from the fan, or you can have it pulling out. When you have it pulling out, you're going to want to have a window open, meaning you're going to open up one of the windows, one of the many different windows that you have available, whether it be on the walls, even the door has a window. So that is how you would circulate the air in the event you weren't using the air conditioner. Now the benefit of that 12 volt, or that fan up there, the power vent fan, is the fact that it is 12 volt. So you don't need to be plugged into power in order to use it. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, the all new, brand new, this is a 2021 A-Liner Expedition FK standing for front kitchen for more information on this camper or any others be sure if you call if you email or if you stop by beckley's camping center you do ask for paul the air force guy do appreciate you watching give me a thumbs up if you're liking what i'm putting down here if you're liking what i'm explaining what do you think of the floor plan like I say this is a brand new one from a liner columbia northwest manufacturer so I do appreciate you watching, and I'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care.